Salut, bonjour, and welcome back for another disc golf video. Now, if you play disc golf consistently, or you are a pro, or you know you just play the game a lot, you tend to know exactly the type of disc you like to use, the types of plastic, the weights, etc. Because you understand that it can be vital to your game. But did you ever check to see that the weights written on the back are actually correct? I did, and here's what I found out. Now, before I let you guys know on what I discovered, I'd actually like to show you a bit of the process and the weighing of eight discs, just so you have a better idea on how I came to my conclusions. Now, how I did this was quite simple. I'm using a fusion scale, which weighs in grams. I've also uh, reformatted it and reset it in a sense to make sure that it's giving the proper data. And I'm also using a yogurt container which fits right on the center so that when I put a disc over top, it actually shows the correct weight of the disc. As mentioned, I'm gonna be weighing eight discs. Now, most of them are brand new and it's important that they are new because once they get used, they do get little chips, little nicks, and then they become less heavy. So I'm using mostly new discs with a few used ones and the used ones are really just duplicates, I would say, of those new discs. The first disc that I'm going to weigh in for you guys is a Star Destroyer, brand new, has not been thrown whatsoever, should weigh in at 175 grams. So this one comes in at 175.8, so almost a gram overweight. The second disc is going to be a Firebird. It's a 175 gram disc, has not been thrown, is brand new, should come in as well at 175. So 177.1, so over two grams overweight, which sounds pretty funny coming from a disc. Uh, the third disc that I'm going to weigh in for you guys is a Mako 3 brand new Champion Plastic, has not been thrown and should weigh in at 180. 178.5, so this one actually comes in under by 1.5 grams, kind of interesting. The next one is also a Mako 3, but a star, and this one has been thrown for at least a year and a half. It should come in at 180. So 180.5, so just a little bit over. The next disc is a Wombat. This one has been thrown for a good two years, should come in at 180. Let's take a look. So this one's actually 182.7, and it's actually been thrown for, like I said, two years. So this one is definitely over, almost three grams. The next is also a Wombat 3, um, brand new, has not been thrown, should come in at 180. So this one is 179.8, so just barely under, no real difference there. And then two more, I have our pro darts, one is brand new, has not been thrown whatsoever. It should come in at 175. So this one's actually three grams over, 178.1. So, you know, three grams, I would say that's enough. And the last is also an our pro dart. It has been used for at least a year, should come in at the same weight, 175. And this one is 178.2. So again, three grams over. Now, after weighing in those eight discs, as well as all my other discs, I've come to the conclusion that about one third of my discs are weighted correctly. Now, that's not to say that they are substantially different than what is written on the back. Usually it's just, you know, one, two to three grams, but it definitely is different than what is written on the discs. A common trend that I'm starting to notice is that they're often not under the listed weight. Most of the time they are over. As you saw with the darts, for instance, one was heavily used and one was not, they were still three grams over the listed weight. Now, perhaps this is already common knowledge to you. I've already seen a few forms stating that the weight on the discs are not correct. Um, and we do understand that these are factory made um, not everything is going to be perfect. They're going to be off by a few grams, but I just thought that I would let you guys know. Now, is any of this really that necessary? Is it really a big deal? To be honest, no. But for me, I like knowing exactly the weight that I received 
So it just gives me that peace of mind. It gives me that confidence knowing that, hey, you know, I actually got a max weight disc and it's gonna do exactly what I expect. Now, if you disagree and would like to check for yourself, be my guest, have a look and see what the weight of your discs are. And perhaps you can let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Merci beaucoup and à bientôt.